as you're seeing there, the side-by-side -side comparison. We had the before and after, and the after definitely looked better. And you might be thinking, well, how? What were you doing differently? Well, I was not doing a small mistake that you probably do. Everyone just about does it. I still sometimes do it. I wasn't making that mistake. The little things in boxing make all of the difference when it's coming to your boxing form and technique. And on this video, I'm going to show you what you're going to be doing the very next time you're in the gym or doing boxing training that's going to help you improve in boxing. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing. So if you like boxing, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that bell notification for more videos like this. So what was it that I was doing? Well, it was not bringing me feet together. I'll see it all the time. People will be on the heavy bags, they'll throw that one, two, they'll step back, they'll bring their feet together, they'll dance on the spot, then they'll come back forward, then they'll move to the left and they'll cross the feet around like this, then they're here and you're crossing like this. So that is bad. It's a common mistake, like I said, I still sometimes do it, bringing the feet together. You know, it's time to have a rest, you'll switch off and you'll be on the spot. But if you continue to do that, you're gonna get into bad habits. And if you think, if I've threw that one, two and I've stepped back, I can't throw any punches from this position. And if someone hits me when I'm in this position, I'm going to fall over. So I need to keep my feet apart all the time. And one person that pops to mind when I'm thinking about this is Manny Pacquiao. If you've ever seen Manny Pacquiao, the Filipino legend, on his feet, he's always got his feet apart. He's moving in and out really fast. Ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. And that's one way you can get more speed in your punches. I've actually done a full video on how to get more speed in your punches. The link's below. You can check that out after you've watched this one. But yeah, when you're moving around the bag, if you're moving to your left, you always want to move your left foot first, keeping your feet apart. If you're moving to your right, move your right foot first, keeping your feet apart. You never want to cross your feet like this. Because like I said, it puts you in that position where you can't throw punches. And also, if you get hit in that position, you might fall over and you're off balance. So I'm going to show you again the before and after comparison. So as you can see here, here's the before on the screen. You can see my feet's coming together. I'm, I'm crossing the feet when I'm moving left. I'm crossing the feet when I'm moving right. My punches are not coming off perfectly because... My feet's not in the right position to throw the punches. Now moving on to the after. As you can see here, I've got my feet apart. I'm throwing them punches correctly. I've got fast feet, I've got fast hands. I'm moving left, left foot first. I'm moving right, right foot first. In the position all the time, no matter where I am around the bag, to throw them punches. Now I'm gonna show you something that you can use to get out of this bad habit. But guys, before I do, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe for more videos like this and hit that bell notification. The thumbs up will really help the channel as well. So what is it you can use for this? Well, it is one of these things. This is a mini band, a mini resistance band. And I've got to take my gloves off to put it on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my feet in here. So I've put this around the tops of my legs like this. Now, what this is doing, it's trying to pull my feet together. Obviously, like I said, I don't want my feet to come together. I want to keep my feet apart all the time. So with this pulling them together, I can feel it as soon as they come together because it's pulling them and this is gets, gets loose. So this makes me keep my feet apart. Now, that's exactly what we, we want to do. We want to keep our feet apart when we're moving around the back. <laughs> And that right there is helping me a lot. Look, the footwork is perfect here. Working on the punches, <laughs> moving the left. I've got that good footwork. <laughs> and if I try and step to my right with my left foot first, this gets loose and it kind of gets tangled. So it keeps your good form with your footwork when you're moving left, right, forward and backwards. So I've got to move, keeping them apart. <laughs> and that's it there. Yeah, like I said, this is great for you to use if you are in the bad habits of bringing your feet together. If you've got any questions about this video, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading them all. Thank you for watching.